namaskar and welcome and now first time ever we are with f test and in f test we are first starting a series of lectures on test of significance of two variances and let's start with a one tail test in case of f test of two variances one tail test is also known as upper tail test because the population which has the greater sample variance is considered as population number 1 and hence the ratio of sample variance 1 to sample variance 2 is always 1 or greater that means the f ratio calculated f ratio is always one or greater yes as a student please uh, say take due care at the time of solving the problem the population having the greater sample variance is taken as population 1 it becomes the numerator while calculating the f ratio and that's why it is also called upper tail test yes now let's take a case and try to understand the thing there are two populations number 1 and 2 two samples one sample each from each population is drawn the size of the first sample is 10 that means it is n1 for us and n2 is 13 sample mean of first sample is 15 and second sample is 14 sum of squares of deviation sum of squares of deviations taken from mean since the sum or rather sums of squares of deviations taken from respective means are readily available there is no role of sample mean as far as the f test of significance of two variances is concerned now what first of all to calculate the f ratio we need sample variances variance of sample 1 as well as 2 so let's calculate first of all sample variances first will be sigma x1 minus x bar 2 the whole square divided by n1 minus 1 since this is a case of small sample denominator will be n minus 1 or n1 minus 1 and n2 minus 1 it is 90 divided by 10 minus 1 that means it is 90 divided by 9 so the first sample variance comes to 10 now the second s2 sigma x2 minus x bar 2 the whole square divided by n2 minus 1 yeah 108 divided by 13 minus 1 that means 108 divided by 12 that means s2 is 9 since the first sample variance is greater it will be treated as the variance from the first population yeah okay now what first of all it is given that take alpha 0.05 and the hypothesis whether it is alternative hypothesis or null hypothesis that we will decide after reading it can we conclude that the variance of population 1 is greater than the variance of population 2 yes is the variance of population 1 greater than the variance of population 2 yeah i think there is no need of further clarification that this is the case of one tail test 
and this is alternative hypothesis and the null hypothesis is always of no difference yeah so null hypothesis no difference alternative hypothesis variance of first population is greater than the variance of second population everything is now clear now routine this is matter of routine steps yeah first of all one tailed test or upper tail test you may write it then alpha given to be 0.05 and in case of one tail test no need of dividing alpha by 2 so let's find out the critical value of f but before that we need to consider the degrees of freedom for the first this is sign of nu n u nu for the first sample it is 10 minus 1 equals to 9 and for the second sample it is 13 minus 1 equals to 12 so critical value will be now we alert in case of f test there are so many tables having the critical values of f ratio or f distribution and find out the table with alpha 0.05 the first column stands for nu2 degree of freedom degree of freedom number 2 and the remaining columns are for nu1 degrees of freedom of the numerator so the critical value of f is always found from the table with respect to 4 degrees of freedom of the denominator to the degrees of freedom of the numerator now in the first column find out 12 and find the intersection in the column of degrees of freedom 9 degrees of freedom 2 degrees of freedom 1 12 9 it comes to 2.8 yes 2.8 it is something like 2 some authors some statisticians some philosophers also suggest something like this exactly like counter argument can we conclude that the variance of population 1 is greater than the variance of population 2 here it is variance of population 1 is not greater than the variance of population 2 what do we mean by is not greater than either both are equal or the variance number one is less than variance number two but we are habituated to write the null hypothesis always in this form and majority of the authors prefer to write majority of the teachers prefer to write the null hypothesis in this way only now alternative hypothesis readily available from the question Yes, variance 1 or variance of population 1 is greater than the variance number 
2 over variance of population 2 that is small sigma 1 is greater than small sigma 2 ok now test statistic and comparison so f ratio that is s1 square upon s2 square now the higher sample variance is always considered as the sample variance from the first population yeah sometimes some authors say that whatever is higher is taken as numerator both the things will give the same result yeah let's substitute s1 square sorry s1 square is 10 s2 square is 9 and 10 divided by 9 is 1.1111 recurring So calculated F ratio is now with us that is 1.11 F calculated and F critical yes F calculated is less than 2.8 so it falls in this region somewhere somewhere in that region That means, sorry, I wrote the values in opposite order. This is 1.11 and this is 2.80. So the calculated F ratio is less than the critical. And we know that if the calculated test statistic is less than the critical value, then Null hypothesis is accepted or cannot be rejected. So we can conclude that variance of population 1 is not greater than the variance of population 2. We are writing the conclusion in this kind of words because the question is can we conclude that the variance of population 1 is greater than the variance of population 2. The null hypothesis of no difference cannot be rejected that means this say claim or argument is rejected which argument variance 1 is greater than variance 2 that argument is rejected that's why we are saying that variance 1 is not greater than variance 2 so this was a small case of f test particularly f test of two variances one tail test and that is also known as upper tail test because the numerator s1 square is always greater than the denominator s2 square and that's why it is also known as upper tail test. That's it. Thank you very much.